Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeremy. I wanted to make a video because some people were asking me how do I set up this thing here for the stream. If you notice, there is a button input that pretty much registers all your frets and strumming. It also really helps if you're trying to explain something to someone. You anchor this button and I'm going to be showing you how to set this up. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, before I get into that though, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Rockin' Out GH. Uh, Ruben, good friend of mine. Make sure to give him a follow. He helped me set this up. He's a really awesome guy. Feel uh, free to do that. The first thing you're going to do is just take a look in the corner here. Um, go to the link, uh, GH input display kit. You're just going to, if you have WinRAR, you're going to need that. Make a folder on your desktop. Just name it GH input kit. You're just going to drag and drop everything here. Uh, into the here. first thing you're going to do is, uh, you're going to open up glove pie. A few things that you're going to need to know is when you stream, you're going to have to use this every time you're going to have to set it up beforehand and leave the program running. Otherwise it won't work. Okay. Uh, so yeah, open glove pie. And glove pie is just the thing that runs the script to make it detect your frets uh, when you're playing and strumming. So uh, open glove pie, which is provided. Uh, then you're going to go at the top here. At, so go to file at the top. Uh, go to open. And in that folder, you're going to go to gh input script dot pie. So you click that, and you're going to hit run. So you can just leave that in the background when you're streaming. Just make sure this is in the background. Uh, don't touch it till the end of the stream. Uh, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the, the folder again. The next part is the OBS GH inputs folder. Then you're going to go to the APVKP, which I don't know what that stands for. Open this up and then click on the application for that. And you'll notice a keyboard. So all you got to do is right click and go to window options and make sure everything is enabled, especially OBS compatibility, uh, everything right there. Be aware that OBS gets hit OK. Uh, you're going to right click again, go to the editor. So you're going to still have this keyboard, which is fine. You're going to go to the save and load down here and you're going to hit load layout. Now, all you're going to have to do is go back to the main root folder that you've dragged and dropped everything. And you're just going to click on the GH input layout right here. So it should show up just like this in the corner. All you got to do is click on the X up here. And your button should work if your guitar is turned on. So we're almost finished. You're going to go into OBS now, make a window capture of that, and then color key it out. So add. Let me actually full screen this. Make it a little bit easier for you to see. Right click. Window capture. Uh, just call it like GH input. Something you can remember if I can spell. Uh, make sure you uncheck cursor. It should be the APVKP thing. See how it shows up right there? Hit OK. You're going to right click and go to filters and you're just going to cut out that blue the background. So uh, add color key, hit OK. Uh, color key type, make sure it's custom. Uh, select color, pick from screen, just go to the corner, click it. Or you can just put 00, zero F, 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 four Fs, hit OK. And uh, I like to add around 250 to 300 similarity and then smooth this just out a little bit. Then hit OK, uh, close. Now you can like resize it. Now you'll notice how there's like a little uh, frame around it. You can get rid of that by just holding out the alt key and then go in the corners and you can just kind of like crop it out like so. Just like that. And you can resize it and it works. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to help you out. I forgot to mention one thing. When you restart your computer, it will not work at first. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. That way you can just set it up before you stream. So all you got to do is open up glove pie again, uh, again. And all you got to do is go to file recent or you can just open up the glove pie thing again, uh, and hit run. So just make sure you have that set up first. Go back to the OBS inputs. You're just pretty much backtracking what you did. You're going to open that up. So it's right here on the screen. Not sure if you can see it. There, there we go. Uh, yeah, so actually it's it's capturing that folder. See, it's not in the right place. So all you got to do in OBS, if you can look down here, is double click and then choose the APVKP thing. And there you go. It's right there. You're going to have to probably crop it out again. But other than that, that's how you set it up once again. So everything should be in order. Turn on your guitar. Mine isn't on. There you go. It's all working. That's all you got to do. Just crop it out. Do whatever you like.